हेलो डी स्टूडेंट सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी स्टडीड द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दिस सेल्स इन सीरीज एंड पार्सल सो सो फार इन दिस टॉपिक वी वेर स्टडिंग वेरी सिंपल सर्किट डायग्राम्स वेर यूज टू टेक सिंपल बैटरी एनी काइंड ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस एंड यूज टू कनेक्ट दम बट नाउ एज वी गो फर्दर इन टू द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मोर कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इन द इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट सो इट मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक टू और मोर कंडक्टर्स एंड लेट एस सी वॉट आर द चेंजेस दैट टेक्स प्लेस so in order to study that we are going to study today kirchhoff's law so kirchhoff's law has given two important laws that is kirchhoff's first law which is also known as kirchhoff's current law and kirchhoff's second law which is also known as kirchhoff's voltage law so in order to study kirchhoff's laws first we need to study certain terms related with the kirchhoff's law so first thing is electrical network you should know electrical network so the purpose of studying kirchhoff's law is here now we we are going to have two or more conductors and we are going to see what are the changes that takes place in the potential whether it current or resistance okay fine so in order to study this we will first study certain terms associated with the kirchhoff's law first one is electrical network so electrical network is a combination of combination of various circuit elements various circuit elements and voltage sources so first thing you should know ki what are electrical networks so electrical networks are the combination of various circuit elements and voltage sources so later we will study nodes node or in common language it is also known as a junction node or a junction is a point is a point in an electrical network electrical network where two or more conductors more conductors meet at that point okay so electrical network is what it's the combination of two or more circuit elements various circuit elements and voltage sources like i can uh, so far we were having just one battery and then we used to connect with the bulb and maybe certain uh, times resistance and we used to show ki current flows from positive to negative direction and electron is to flow opposite to the direction of the current but now what we are going to do is we are going to take two or more conductors this kind of two or more bulbs we are going to see possibility we will also take two or more voltage sources and we are going to see what are the changes that takes place in the circuit elements so these all combination that will be governed by the kirchhoff's law so first we will study certain terms related with the kirchhoff's law one among them are electrical network and nodes so node is a point in an electrical network where two or more conductors meet to say in simple language it's a junction what is a junction where two or more conductors meet at a common point then next term is a mesh mesh or in common language it is also called as a loop mesh or a loop so what is a mesh it's a closed path it's a closed path in an electrical network it's a closed path in an electrical network electrical network path of an electrical network of an electrical network in which current flows okay so the name itself indicates loop what is a loop loop is a closed path so yes uh, which is also known as a mesh so mesh is a closed path of an electrical network in which current flows for an example if i take just a battery connect it with a any kind of resistance current will flow from this part to this part that is higher potential to lower potential ya fir positive to negative so whenever an electron is moving it is tracing one path and that path will be a closed path if the circuit is open then i cannot call that path as a closed path so if the circuit is closed it means i am allowing the charges to move then once i close the circuit i am allowing the charges to move in one particular path you know the direction of the current so vector quantity it flows from positive to negative direction so when it moves it traces one path in an electrical network that path is known as mesh or a loop okay so kindly note down this uh, the terms 
so that easily we can study Kirchhoff's laws. Okay, fine. Shall I erase this? So first thing we are going to study is Kirchhoff's first law. Kirchhoff's first law. So Kirchhoff's first law. Okay, which is also known as Kirchhoff's Kirchhoff's current law. Current law. If I write in short form, it is KCL law. So what does it states? It states that statement. If I write this statement, it states that the algebraic sum, the algebraic sum, the algebraic sum of the, the algebraic sum of the currents of the currents at node will be will be equal to will be equals to zero so simple it's kirchhoff's uh, current law what it states key the algebraic sum of the currents meeting at a node will be zero what does it states it states key in simple words i would call uh, alternative statement i can write uh, the current the current entering the node is equal to current leaving the current leaving the node. so we are going to apply kirchhoff's law and in order to study kirchhoff's law we should have an electrical network an electrical ne network is a combination of two or more circuit elements so suppose i have a node here and this node indicates that it's a common point where two or more conductors are going to meet. So suppose if I take one conductor carrying current I1 having resistance R1 in this direction. There is one more conductor carrying current I2 having resistance R2 is leaving the node. Or I will show this. We should go as per sign conventions. I will tell you what are sign conventions. One more conductor I3 having resistance R3 is leaving the node and one more conductor I4 having resistance R4 is leaving the node. Now please look carefully here and try to apply the Kirchhoff's current law. It states that the algebraic sum of currents at node will be equals to zero. So if I go on adding all these currents and what I am going to get at the node, this is a node. Node is a common point where two or more conductors are meeting. So in my example, I have four conductors meeting at a common point. So if I want to get the, uh, what is the net current at this point, it will be zero. Why it will be zero? Because some of the current entering the node will be equal to some of the current leaving the node. Okay. So see here, we have to go as per sign conventions. If any conductor is carrying current in the direction of the node, we will take it as a positive. Any conductor which is leaving the node, we will take it as negative. So now look carefully, I1, R1 is carrying current in the direction towards the node. Look at the aroma. I2, R2 is also carrying current in the direction of the node. Whereas look at I3, R3 and I4, R4. These are leaving the nodes. These are leaving the nodes. So what will I going to get here is we have to apply the sign conventions. I1 plus I2 minus I3 minus I4. This will be equals to 0. Look here. I1 and I2 are entering the nodes. I3 and I4 are leaving the nodes. So I am taking it as negative. So if any conductors is carrying current in the direction of the node, take it positive. If any conductor which is leaving the node, take it as negative. So here I1, I2 are going towards the nodes. Look at the arrow mark if you can see it. And I3, I4 are leaving the nodes. So here net current at this point will be 0 according to the Kirchhoff law. So how will I get? I can still reduce this equation as I1 plus I2. This will be equals to and send this to the right hand side this will become i3 plus i4 so look i1 and i2 here i1 and i2 is the current which has entered the node 
I3 and I4 is the current which has left the node. So this will be always equal. So alternative statement also holds good. So it's simple Kirchhoff's current law which tells you ki the algebraic sum of the current and node will be always zero. Why? Because the sum of the current entering the node will be equal to sum of the current leaving the node. Please consider it ki whenever it is entering the node take it positive and whenever it is leaving the node take it as negative. Okay. Now, what is the significance of Kirchhoff's current law? That is the most important thing. So, sometimes you will ask this question in the one mark. Significance of Kirchhoff's significance. Significance. So, significance of Kirchhoff's voltage, uh, Kirchhoff's current law is that it helps you to understand the law of conservation of the charges. It, it is based on KCL law. KCL law is based on based on conservation of conservation of charge. It is based on the conservation of the charge. So in the first topic itself, we have studied the properties of the charges. That charge is conserved. What does it mean? You can neither create the charge nor you can destroy the charge. Net charge of an system will be always conserved. So from this also. Kirchhoff's law holds good for the law of conservation of the charge. Why? Because some charges are entering and some charges are leaving. Here no charge is created, no charge has been destroyed. So simple Kirchhoff's current law is in uh, forward uh, given to you. Okay. I hope you understood this Kirchhoff's current law. Okay. Uh, usually they will ask this question for one mark. Okay. But the problem is this you have to understand in order to study the balanced with stone network which will be asked for the five marks okay so now without wasting the time we will move towards the Kirchhoff's second law which is known as Kirchhoff's voltage law also so I will erase this now so the actual application of the Kirchhoff's law we are going to use in with stored network and later further to the potentiometer and the meter which experiments okay now next is Kirchhoff's Kirchhoff's second law Kirchhoff's second law which is also known as Kirchhoff's Kirchhoff's voltage law Kirchhoff's voltage law which is also known as Kirchhoff's voltage law in short form, I will write it as KVL. So the first one was the KCL law and the second one is KVL law. So whenever the word voltage comes, so I am talking about the potential. So what did you state? Statement. So you are not going to compromise with the statement. You are expected to write as it is. Okay, because it is a statement or you can say law. So it states that the algebraic sum, the algebraic sum of current and resistant products resistant that is IR products across various branches of the circuit is equal to is equal to the sum of sum of the EMF sum of the EMF sum of the EMF across across the circuit various branches of the circuit okay so it is very simple law try to understand it what it states key the algebraic sum of the IR products will be equal to sum of the EMF or, or algebraic sum of the EMF will be equal to the I will write here algebraic sum better equal to algebraic sum of EMF so it's very simple now to understand what it states key it states that the algebraic sum of the IR product so whenever I talk about the IR you re remember the Ohm's law where V is equal to IR so indirectly I am talking about the voltage itself the algebraic sum of the IR products if I take IR products in the various branches of the circuit so since we are studying KCL law or KVL law we are going to have an electrical network which is going to have 
more than two or more conductors. So any conductor will have its own IR products. So when I add all those IR products, some of the IR products will be equal to some of the EMF across that circuit, some of the EMF across that various circuit. Are you understanding? So this is very simple lot to understand. So in general, what I can write? So suppose summation of IR is equal to summation of EMF. So sum of the IR products will be equal to the sum of the EMF, sum of IR products. This is equal to sum of EMF. We will try to understand it in much more better way. Okay. So please note down this statement so that I will explain it. Please try to understand that I have so many conductors and so many conductors will have their different different IR products. So these IR products will be equal to the sum of their EMF, sum of their EMF present in that circuit. Is that clear? Okay, I'll erase. So try to understand this. Suppose again Kirchhoff's law, Kirchhoff's voltage law, second law is valid for the closed electrical network. So the condition for the Kirchhoff's KVL law, which is Kirchhoff's voltage law, the circuit should be a closed circuit. So suppose if I have, uh, we will draw one diagram, okay, circuit diagram. Okay, so suppose. This is the closed path. Okay, so this is my terminal A, B and C. Now I have here I1, R1 and this is my cell having EMF E1. This is my cell having EMF E2 and this is having current I2, R2. This is the cell having EMF E3 and this will have Okay, this will have I3 and R3. Now look here, this is a closed path. It's a closed path. Okay, it's a closed path having terminals A, B and C. Now, I have three conductors here. I1, R1, I2, R2, I3, R3. And these individual conductors have their own cells which will provide EMF E1, E2 and E3 respectively. So, now here, look here. Look here, arrow mark is most important. Ki current will flow from positive to negative direction. So, in this way, I'll... here and here. So, remember, ki the bigger part will be always positive. I'll draw this one second. Now, try to understand this. Kirchhoff's old age law. So I have a cell having EMF E1, E2 and E3. The bigger part is positive and the smaller part is negative. You always know that current always flows from positive to negative. So this will be the direction of the current for this. And this is positive, the arrow mark will be here. And for this cell, the arrow mark will be here. Look here, current always flows from positive to negative. Now if I want to apply KVL law, what I will do here is, KVL law states ki sum of the IR products. So what is IR product for first one? I1, R1. For second cell, it will be minus of I2, R2. Third will be I3, R3. You should take one conventional direction. You can consider this as positive, then this two will become negative. See, this is carrying current I1 from here. It comes across I2, but it is in the opposite direction. So I have taken minus. So again, it follows a closed path. <coughs> I hope you understood this, why I am taking negative. You can take this as positive, then if you take this positive, then this both will be negative. So this will be what? IR products will be equal to sum of the EMF, that is E1 minus E2 plus E3 plus E3. Are you understanding students? So this is the simple Kirchhoff's voltage law. It states that sum of the IR products is equal to the sum of the 
EMF, sum of the EMF. There is one rule, you can also modify this, which is known as a loop rule. First one is a mesh uh, node, uh, node rule. Node rule, what it states, sum of the current entering the node will be equal to sum of the current leaving the node. So, loop rule, what it states, the algebraic sum of change in potential. The algebraic the algebraic sum of change in potential the algebraic sum of change in potential around any closed path around any closed path or loop 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 involving resistor and cells involving resistors and cells will be equals to zero so please try to understand loop rule what it states the algebraic sum of change in potential change in potential means what i1 r1 will give you potential v1 i2 r2 will give you potential v2 and i3 r3 will give you potential v3 across any closed path loop involving resistors and cells will be zero so i can further reduce this formula from i1 r1 minus i2 r2 plus i3 r3 this will be equals to zero so this is the modified uh, version of the kirchhoff's voltage law so please try you can stop it here itself okay you need not further reduce it but to study balance with stone network by applying this rule, you can reduce this formula to this uh, much more shorter way. So, Kirchhoff's voltage law is quite simple. It states that the sum of the IR products will be equal to sum of the individual EMF across those circuits. Clear? Eh? Now, most important thing here to be understood here is significance. So, significance what it states. Can anybody guess what will be the significance of Kirchhoff's voltage law? So significance significance so kvl law kirchhoff voltage law is based on law of conservation of conservation of energy most important so kirchhoff voltage law is based on the conserve on the law of conservation of energy uh, quite simple to understand whatever will be the emf that much will be the ir product so you are neither creating the energy nor you are uh, destroying the energy the net energy of the system remains cost constant if you remember in the cells i had got v e equals to v plus v dash initially when the circuit was open e was more emf was more and the potential was less so there was violation of the law of conservation of energy but when the concept of electromotive force came and internal resistance concept came then we had found key if emf is 12 volts so this also will be some kind of 8 plus 4 so this will be 12 equals to 12 because this is ir and this will be ir where r was the internal resistance of the cell so by applying the law of conservation of energy what i get here is the sum of the emf will be equal to the sum of the ir products which was violating the law of conservation of energy whenever we were studying the cells understood so kvl law is based on the law of conservation of the energy it states ki energy has neither been created nor been destroyed the point is whatever energy we are providing that much energy we are getting but in the various form initially we were getting in terms of potential that potential indirectly we are getting into ir products understood so please remember this kcl and kvl law today's video will be uh, only this much so that next class we will do the derivation of the Wheatstone balanced network which is totally based on KCL and KVL law. So I will recall few things electrical network is the combination of various circuit elements and voltage sources. We need to know node, node is a point where two or more conductors are meeting, loop is a path or mesh, mesh is a closed path of an electrical network. First one is KCL law with that is Kirchhoff first law what it states the algebraic sum of the current meeting at node will be equals to zero in short i would say that the sum of the current entering the nodes will be equal to the sum of the current leaving the node 
so at the end you have to take care of the sign convention you should see which conductor is entering the node and which one is leaving the node entering you consider it as positive and leaving you consider it as negative so significance is it is based on the conservation of the charge second law is kirchhoff's voltage law which is known as kvl law also so it states ki the algebraic sum of the ir products will be equal to the sum of the emf across that circuit whatever how many ir products are there that much will be the emf of the cell and that ir products will be equal to the sum of the emf in short i would write ki i1 r1 plus i2 r2 minus i3 r3 that will be equal to e1 plus e2 minus e3 take care of the signs so you have to see which direction they are going if two conductors going in one particular direction take them as positive and the least one which is opposite to take it as negative so you can reduce that formula remember the node rule it states ki the algebraic sum of the change in potential across uh, around any closed loop involving resistor involving any resistor and cells will be zero that we can reduce ki i1 r1 plus i2 r2 minus i3 r3 that would be equal to zero take care of the signs then the significance is it helps you to understand the law of conservation of the energy which was little bit violating in the uh, whenever we were studying cells but later when we came to know the concept of internal resistance and terminal potential difference then even it was not violating the law of conservation of energy so next class will be most important today's class was just a introductory to the next class which we are going to do uh, a derivation a very important derivation most probability they will that uh, ask in the exam okay so thank you